Yeah, right away. That would be great. Okay, I'll see you then. Goodbye. Excuse me. Um, my name is Brian Bodine. I'm here to see Will Cortland. You, you arrested him yesterday. You're still holding him. You relation? Yeah, I'm his cousin. I have to talk to him about some family matters. It's kind of important. Uh, just go in through there and talk to the sergeant. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Yo, Dylan, it's about time. Hey, Jeremy. Yo, O'Neill, you got anything more to say? That stuff for Sierra was... It was here. Right on my desk, it was here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Jim Dandy. No problems, no complaints, nothing. Listen, I'm sorry about Haley. Yeah, miserable kid. Boy, she inherited the Dillon penchant for self-destruction, huh? Will Cortland, a rapist. <laughs> miserable, miserable. No, it was in this pile here. Have you talked to her? Yeah, I, t I talked to her. I tried to talk to her, but no go. There's anything I can do? Uh, no, 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 no. Well, thank you very much. I'll tell you. It's not only Haley that's bothering you, is it? Well, isn't that enough? Is it, Natalie? Yeah, right on the head, Mark. Haley is trying to get bail money from Natalie. She called me, I went and I talked to her. We, we had dinner together and then we talked and you know, I felt like comfortable with her again. We started getting close. And? Well, I forgot myself, you know? I, I started to hope. <laughs> Bad idea. Why? Janet called when, when I was there, and any idiot with two eyes in his head could see what was going on in Allie's mind. We were right back to square one, square one being ground zero. Oh. Look, I wish things could be different. I wish I could push an emotional button and be able to embrace Trevor's love for Janet's baby, but I... It's Trevor's baby, too, Natalie. Yes, but Janet is the mother. And that this is my sister. This is the woman who stole my life and then tried to kill me. I... Janet is carrying Trevor's baby, and I can't forget that. Okay, you can't forget that, but is there some way that you can accept it? Well, do I have a choice? Yes, you do. You can do as I did and pretend that the whole situation never even happened, or you can accept it. What Janet did, what Trevor and all the rest of us did, that all happened to you, Natalie. You don't have to like it or approve of it, but you just have to find some way to get past it. People only have as much power over you as you give them. You know that. Yeah, but the child that Janet's carrying will always remind me. That child, when it's born, will be its own unique self, an innocent infant. Can't you trust that? Can you at least try not to make decisions for the future based on what you're feeling right now? What I'm feeling right now is the only thing I know for sure, Sarah. Does that include your feelings for Trevor? I mean, don't those feelings count for anything? Nice place. Okay, if we're going to do this deal, let's do it. Now, I laid out my terms, and I am not budging. I give you, the National Intruder, my exclusive story on my whirlwind courtship with Will Cortland, plus and including details about how Nurse Gloria full of it cried rape after Will wanted me, not her. In exchange, you give me $50,000 up front in cash or check. You drive a hard bargain. Fifty grand, up front, or I'll sell my story to a... The competition. Take it or leave it. Will a cashier's check do the trick? Oh, a cashier's check would just be lovely. Well, first, you have to sign a simple contract. You read it if you wish, but in layman's terms, you grant us exclusive coverage, photographic rights, and you swear that any fact you give us is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whatever. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I guess this concludes our little 
business meeting. A reporter will be in contact with you soon. Yes, I'm sure he will. You realize, under the terms of this contract, you're forbidden to talk to any member of the press except us. Yeah, I, I know that. Goodbye, Mrs. Cortland. Goodbye. Erica! Tell me that isn't who I think it was. You're back. That muckraking negotiator from the National Intruder? Save your breath with me, Erica. Look, I raised Will's bail money. All by myself, I got the money to set my husband free. Alka-Seltzer Plus goes to the Arctic Circle, where the toughest colds live. The cold is miserable in this environment. Uh, Alka-Seltzer Plus takes care of it. Well, Matt Lee played along with the phone call. She didn't antagonize Janet. She didn't hang up. Oh, Natalie, she's a lady. She talked nice and quiet to her, made sure the witch was taking good care of herself. It was unbelievable. That's progress. It cost her money. Of lot. course it cost, but that means that it's a definite step forward. Well, maybe, maybe for her peace of mind, it's a step forward. It's more than that. I mean, it's beginning to understand and to accept. Look, Natalie is a good... She's a good, decent woman, Mahatma. I mean, she's not gonna... She's not gonna make her sister have a hypoglycemic attack any more than I would. And she's a, she's a great dame. But as far as accepting and understanding the mess that's on my plate, forget it. And don't get any romantic delusions about that. I'm not in the mood. So you mean to say that as long as Janet and the baby are in the picture? Yeah, nothing is going to change. Yep, you got it right. I have feelings for Trevor. Yes, of course. But what about the way I feel when I hear Janet's voice on the phone? I'm sure that that was very hard for you. But you did it. And, unless I'm very mistaken, you did that for Trevor's sake. Oh, I think you're making too much out of it, Sarah. Am I? Trevor and I have a long history. And there was a time when I loved him more than anything, but that time is over. The, the mistakes he made, the mistakes I made, they're just too big. They are too overwhelming. I don't feel about Trevor the way you feel about Jeremy. He's a friend. He's important. But he, he's just a friend. But you reached out to him. Well, because he needed somebody and I was there. Natalie. Oh, it was the least I could do, but it doesn't change anything. Are you sure? Yes. Well, maybe you're right. But I see something new. For the first time in a really long time, I see hope. No. Yes. Hope for you and Trevor. Enough money to set Will free? The National Intruder forked over $50,000 for the exclusive rights to my story. Haley, you sold your soul to that smut-peddling National Intruder? Haley! What has gotten into you? Are you out of your mind? I don't care what I had to do, but we needed the money. Were you and Adam going to give it to me? I don't think so. Haley, do you have any idea what they will do to you? Look, I don't care what people read about me in a supermarket. My husband is in jail. In case you didn't hear already, Gloria is accusing Will of rape, but it is not true. Oh, of course, everybody believes her little sob story, including you, obviously, but it doesn't matter. I got the money to get my husband free. This is all the money I need to set Will free. There's nothing you or anybody else can do about it. Oh, really? Yes, really. Erica, please, don't... Erica, you know what? I'm just gonna go get another check. Oh, no, young lady, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere until you listen to what I have to say to you. Stand up. You! I said stand up. Why, the people that let in this joint. Sheesh! I saw Haley. She's drinking. <laughs> what, you think that's funny, Cortland? No. I think you're funny. You're turning her into a drunk. Yeah, right. I'm the devil incarnate. That boy. Haley's only doing what feels good. You know what I mean? Come here! 
son of a I'm gonna do to you what I've been wanting to do for a long time. There's only one way to deal with little life like you. You just gotta squeeze that neck until you just can't breathe anymore. So you feel that neck snap. How does it feel, Corlin? Get up! <laughs> Hey, Carol Dan gets an offer he doesn't want to refuse on Roseanne. Then Luther goes for the big bucks on Coach.